Also in that you can get your sacraments today. You will see Deacon Pinkman. She will be in the back as you depart. She will give you your sacraments for the next Saturday at 6 p.m. I urge you for the communion. We will have uh, the folk April 4th Easter worship, 11 a.m. That's why we're going to communion on the 3rd. So we'll be here on Easter. We're not here uh, open last Easter. So we'll be East open this Easter. Uh, we only can see so many persons. I know it's going to be Easter, but we only see so many persons. Uh, that being said, we still will be doing it virtual. So you can watch this virtually uh, next Sunday. Also, uh, if you want to come in, uh, okay. Sister Brooks, so she'll ask you all five questions. She's going to ask you the first, the first question and the fourth question in the questionnaire. So you want to go through all five of them. Well, those two are very important. Uh, so she would ask that don't be rough. She's going to shoot up the dude. Amen. 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 Let me say this. Some people are doing some things. They're doing what it's been asked of them. Amen. So Amen. Don't beat them up. Right. Don't beat them up. They're just doing their job. Amen. Right. Okay, you know your answer. Amen. 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 And we still in Lenten season. It's almost to the end. Yeah. And as I stated last Sunday, the Lenten season is a time of spiritual renewal. Yes, yes. So we should be in these 40 days we have done, almost 40, we should be spiritually renewed. Amen. And let me say this. Because we're spiritually renewed, don't you go backward. That's right. Do right. not go backward. Amen. You should be going forward in our spiritual renewal okay. in this Lenten season. Also, we will, no, I'll, I'll say it at the end, I'll say it at the end. In regards to the Holy Week, I'll say it at the end. And before we dismiss, I'll talk about that. Uh, so, our scripture for the week will be, and I hope you've been reading, Proverbs chapter 12, verses 21 through 28. Proverbs chapter 12, verses 21 through 28. And I'll say it one more time. Proverbs 12, verse 21 through 28. Uh, this we our week, our truth of the week, along with your own daily reading. Uh, so remember these announcements. In regards to the sacraments, if it's things in the world, you should them as you leave. Uh, so we can all take the Lord's Supper together virtually. Amen. 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 So the next song that will be sung will be Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. All right. And then we go to the word of God. Amen. 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 This is the time to go to the Bible. Y'all promise. Y'all need to say amen. Amen. Give it a whole damn car. Amen. 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 Oh, magnify the Lord for he.
the fragrance fill the house. All right. The fragrance fill the house. I need to go. Hold on just a second. I just got a, I just got a revelation. I need to do, a, do an illustration of it. Hold on. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, it was. Costly. 
Each time you see Mary meeting Jesus and she's worshiping him. Don't turn to it, but just write it down. If you go to St. Saint, Saint John, but chapter 11, verse 2, she does the same thing again. Watch this. In chapter 11, you can't let nobody deter you from what you came to do. Uh -huh. I don't care how crazy they look at you, how cross I they look at you, you can't let nobody deter you from what you came to do. And the reason I say it is because in chapter 11, Martha was cleaning her house. She asked Jesus, why don't you tell Mary to help me clean the house? Jesus replied and said, Martha, Martha, Mary has chose the best thing. Sweeping and mopping and dusting and all that ain't important right now. Mary has chose the, the good thing. And you see, you see, and you go to look at that, it's the same thing that's in chapter 12, verse 3. In verse 2 of chapter 11. Mm. It's now, we meet Mary. She's at the feet of Jesus. Mm. At his feet. Mary took this flask, broke it, and knowing the feet of Jesus, she, she washed him with her head. <laughs> and what is that? I, 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 I got a question here. What's that all about? I ask the question. What is that all about? She wipes his feet with her hand. What is that all about? <laughs> Jesus. Mary was. That's what she, Mary was a worshiper. Mary was a worshiper, and that is what we see here, is Mary worshiping Jesus. All right, all right. Watch this. I'm almost done, y'all. All right. A woman's hair is her glory. Her glory. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Glory. If I look at 1 Corinthians, yes. Yes, chapter 11, verse 15. Yes. Talks about a woman's hair and her glory. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Ooh, I just want to scream. To see what Mary is doing. Mm -hmm. How much Mary loves God. Yeah, 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 yeah. More yeah. than herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Love it. Watch this. And what happened? What happens to a person who worships God like this? What happens? I just told you a question. What, what is this all about? And the second question I want to pose to you is what happens? To a person who worships God like this. When Christ is worshipped, the worshippers themselves carry, this is carry away something, something of the fragrance of that moment. Watch. Well, oh, this is good. This is good. They take on the fragrance of Jesus. All right. All right. They smell like Jesus. That's it. Mm -hmm. Come on, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. They take on the fragrance of Jesus. They smell like Jesus. Yeah. And not only that, but the house was permeated with the fragrance of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere she went, the fragrance of Jesus was with her. Everywhere she went, she had the fragrance of Jesus. Now watch this. Guess this. She pours the oil on him. She didn't pour it on her. But she smells like what she pours. She smells like what she pours. She pours it on Jesus. Then pour it on her. But she smells like Jesus. But however, she does smell like Jesus because she touched with her. Yes. <laughs> Everywhere Mary went, those fragrance followed her. Mm. 
The house was filled with fragrance. But let me back up for a moment. You know what she was saying? She anointed his feet with her hand. She takes her robe and put it in his feet. Thank you, Lord. I just saw that. She takes her glory, her glory, and puts it in his feet. She takes what she was blessed with and puts it in his feet. She takes what was given to her by God and puts it in Jesus' feet. Mm. She takes the gift of her glory and puts it in his feet. As we come to close, watch this. And the house was filled with the fragrance of oil. No house is filled with the pleasant aroma as a house where Jesus is given a rightful place. All right, all right. The house didn't smell like it until you give God Jesus' rightful place. You gotta allow him to come in. Yes. That his aroma may feel where you at. Mm. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Worship yeah. is vitally important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was me. This fragrance mm -hmm. filled the house. Come on, bring me to the table, boy. I'm coming home. This is going to be a short one today, though. Can I say that again? Thank you. Yes. The only way our life, our life, will smell like Jesus is by spending time at his feet in worship. I need you to turn this one. When you worship God, he will move on your own. Now hold up before you put it up. Before you put it up, before you put it up, before you put it up, I thank the Lord. Let me put a footnote here. When you worship God, He will move on your behalf. Oh, yeah. You heard me say it before, I want to say it again. We're, as Pentecostal church, we're used to praise. Come on, we're, we're, we're dancing and dropping one, one, one note. We go. It leads me to understand, and I'm going to prove it by way of scripture, it leads me to understand that worship comes before praise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, you heard me say before, I know we talk to you alphabetically, P coming for W. That ain't, that ain't, that's not biblical. Mm -hmm. Biblically, worship comes before praise. All right. yes. I want to do first and second point again. When you worship God, mm -hmm. He will move on your behalf. Yes. Yes. Go further. When you worship, it turns into praise. Yes, yes, yes. Heavy teaches God. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. I mean, I mean, I'm but I mean, teach you this. When you worship God, He moves on your behalf. All right. Uh huh. And it's not unfair, but I asked him a few minutes ago. Watch Second Chronicles. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes. Chapter twenty, verse eighteen. This will prove that worship comes before praise. Yeah, right. I'm in Bible country. Amen. Yeah. And Jehoshaphat mm -hmm. bowed his head, head with his face to the ground. Mm -hmm. And all Judah and all the church. All right. Now, I'm going to get on me. Okay, because right. this is Bible. All right. I'm in Bible country. Yeah. Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, mm -hmm. and all Judea and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed before the Lord and worshiped the Lord. Uh -huh. Watch this. 
The people didn't do anything, they saw Joe as man. I'm going to get on me, I'm talking about me. All right, all right. And I ain't going to get mad at me. All right, all right. I'm going to get mad at me. Right. I ain't going to get mad at me because it's in black and white. Amen. It does not happen until the leader worships. Worship and worship. Okay. All right. It don't happen. That's the real where we at right now. Right. It don't happen until Bishop Raymond Ross Jr. All right. Bowed his head, his face to the ground, and all saw a Bethlehem.
And it's all, it's all up to Jehoshaphat to follow the directions of God. Amen. Amen. He goes into worship. The church goes into worship. Yeah. All the inhabitants go into worship. Yeah. And they worship the Lord. Now go to 21 and 22. Watch this. Twenty-one says, and when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of holiness. As they went out before the army and were saying, watch the his one praise them. They already worship. Now they want to praise. And that, that what it says? Saying, praise the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. Yes, yes. They worship and they praise. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. They praise him for the for the mouth. Walter Hawkins had a song years ago, Don't Wait to the Battle of the Lord. Shout out. Don't wait to get the victory. Right. Shall have. Yeah, so God gives worship mm -hmm. and now he gives praise. All right. All right. Watch it. They don't have victory yet. But they still going to praise. Amen. Amen. I'm saying They don't get victory yet, but they're going to praise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. Yeah. Now when they begin to sing and sing and to praise. Yeah. Then God shifts. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Then they begin to sing and praise. The Lord set up ambushments uh -huh. against the people of Ammon, Moab, now said, who had come against Judah, all right. and they were defeated. Watch this. Those who were with him had weapons. Mm -hmm. The people who they were against didn't have weapons. Right. But yes, they did. Yeah. They didn't have spirit and bones. Mm -hmm. But they had a weapon. Yes. Your worship and your praise yeah. is a weapon. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Watch this. Mount Seir. Moab and all of them, watch it, use their weapon. Mm -hmm. And they use their weapon regularly. But the church doesn't use our weapon regularly. Because mm -hmm. if we don't feel like it, we ain't going to do it. All right. All right. All right. All right. Your worship, okay, so wait. Our worship yes, yes. and our praise is not based on how we feel. Amen. Amen. The Bible. Give a sacrifice of praise. Even when they don't feel like it. Praise him. Even when they think I ought to right now because I don't feel like it, I want to go ahead and worship him. Yes, Lord. In the mouth. And if you're going to, I'm going to put it on another time. But in this 20th chapter of 2 Chronicles, there are three or four different forms of praise and worship. Mm -hmm. So watch this. We got to, we as preachers got to stop this. So if you ain't dancing, you ain't praising. All right. All right. All right. All right. If I go into this same chapter, if I go into Psalm, there are different forms of methods of praise yeah. which David did. Yeah. Oh, but they're not dancing, they ain't crazy. Why are you all in my hand? What do you mean I'm crazy? Right, right, right. Everybody is not a dancer. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Right. So I can't condemn someone who doesn't dance. Right. Amen. Okay. I'll give you all, I'll give you food. I'll just talk about my brother. 
Wrong is a Nancy. All right. I am not a Nancy. All right. And I can't allow somebody, I can't allow somebody to put me in a box right. as right. compared to me with him. Amen. Don't you allow anybody, if any preacher put you in a box and say you're not preaching God. Because there's a way of offering. I, I don't have no time, but I can go to all these different forms of worship and praise yes. where God knows that some people can't do certain things. Amen. But they still can praise God in different methods. Amen. And God still gets to go. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. I'm coming home, y'all. This is a good message. Amen. It don't even hurt. Amen. And it's free. You all know what you St. John, they just recently taught it a few months ago. He taught the Gospel of St. John, chapter 4, verse 23 24. The Gospel of St. John, chapter 4, verse 23 24. Have you done? Right. Hmm. This is what he says. First of all, if I was read, I want to tell you that Jesus has a conversation with a woman mm -hmm. who has some men in her life, should be in her life. All right. All right. But she has an encounter with Jesus mm -hmm. <laughs> that shakes her whole life up. Yes. Transforms, changes her whole life. Mm -hmm. Her whole mindset, just at the way. At the well, a conversation. Yep. He was thirsty, she just had a man. It was a setup. Yes. Have you ever been set up? Mm -hmm. By God? I ain't know about people. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But have you been set up by God and, mm -hmm. and it worked out for you? Yes. Just set up. Yes. You had no intentions of going down, being there, anything like that. And the God set you up. Mm hmm. Oh, bless her. Yes, Come on. She set up. It's been orchestrated. Yes. A divine orchestration of God. She there, he there. Mm -hmm. And he tells her all about her life. Mm -hmm. And really, they were supposed to not be any different with a Samaritan and a Jew anyway. Right. But when you set up by God and orchestrated by God, it don't matter what people say. Amen. It means what God says. So Amen. somebody can be blessed. So somebody can be delivered and be set free. Yeah, yeah. And so when the conversation goes on, the conversation he talks about uh, her husband said, "Man, you want one, one year with me? Still ain't yours." That's right. That's right. Come on. But you know what I know? I know about this. I just thought about it. The woman, she he tells her all about her life and all what she's doing, mm -hmm. and she don't get mad. Because mm -hmm. even with us, he exposed us. Right. We're gonna be mad. And we just might be mad enough to walk off before we hear the rest of the story. But when it's set up and designed or orchestrated by God, you can't get mad. Amen. Right. Amen. She was in the point where she said, Come and be a man who told me all about my life. And I ain't talking about them hookups I got hooked up with. I got a divine hookup. Then he goes on to verse 23. He says, But the hour is coming and is now yes. when the true, 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 true. not fake, right. not false, right. but the true, true. worshipers mm -hmm. will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. This is what I want you to get right here. This is what the next one I'm going to read. Oh, this is what I want you to get. He said this, for the Father seeks such to worship him. Yes. Do you not know God is looking for us to worship yes. him? Yes. He's looking for us mm -hmm. to worship him. Yes. Yes. He goes on in the previous verse, the previous line, he's uh, worshiping the spirit in you, but the Father seeks mm -hmm. such to worship him. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. 
Mm. Mm. Then he tells how you ought to worship him. Mm. Verse 24. Because so first he says, he's a, God is a spirit. Yes. And those who worship him must worship him in the spirit and in truth. Yes. Yeah, let's deal with truth for a moment. All right. All right. Truth, when you worship God, I'm going to tell you who you are. Yes, it is. And he also going to tell you who you're not to. Right. He also, in your words, going to tell you what you're doing. All right. Wrong. Yes. It's up to us as he shows us, us, mm -hmm. to make some changes. Amen. To make some spiritual adjustments. Yes, you know what I said? Spiritual adjustments. Uh -huh. Spirit, mm -hmm. truth. Yes. Spirit, when the spirit is in the room, truth is going to come out. And that's why some people don't have the spirit in the church because the truth is going to come out. Because God will expose. And he will expose you openly or he will expose you privately. The close to the fifth time. They used to sing a song, they get three Saints of the Most High God, right. years ago, forget about yourself and come and worship Him. Forget about your cares of life, what you're going through, what you feel like, what you're thinking about. Forget about yourself and concentrate. Concentrate. Focus on Him and not you. As I close, from six now. <laughs> if you do not, or if you don't, you will smell like something else. All right. And it won't be Jesus. I'm going to close right there. I'm going to close right there. But let me say it again. All right. But first of all, let me go back. The only way. Your life will smell like Jesus is by spending time at the feet, at his feet in worship. And if you don't spend time with him at his feet, you will smell like something else. And it won't be like Jesus. Amen. He's done. And I'm done with you. When you're blessed in the food, I wasn't supposed to. Say your own thing. Mind you, I'm sorry. And I said, I'm sorry. And you're doing what I was told to do. That you be blessed, and I'll be blessed. And I'll read it on Jesus. He said, he said, oh, sorry, no, I ain't sorry. Oh, then come on. This is the spirit. Get an understanding, all day, get an understanding. He just told me to talk. I went to the school. No one was supposed to talk. I was supposed to teach. The word of God, slowly and curled, right. and you get it. Because sometimes we get too emotional. Yeah. He speaks to me sometimes in this pandemic. You can go past some stuff. Some people need to really get it. Yeah. 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 Really get it because people are going through some stuff. Yeah. And, and they want to give up on Jesus. But we got to start teaching. And start leading, uh, be led by God. Amen. And what to do? You may get next time you may have him. You may, you may have him teach again. Amen. But you know what? Which is the way he said, I'm going to be satisfied. Is that not a good thing? I'm not saying, whatever way you bless the Lord, I'll be satisfied. Whatever way you lead me, God, I'll be satisfied. Amen. If nobody wants to get it, I'm going to be happy. Amen. 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 I trust you got another from what God has shared with me to share with you. Be strengthened in the Lord by the word of God. Be strengthened. We're going to get ready to pray. I want to give a praise report to this morning in regards to Brother Raymond's mother in law. He requested prayer for his mother in law last Sunday. Let me show you what God does. First of all, we see what Gary did. We see what God did for Gary last Sunday. He could not walk into the wall. Well, he asked for prayer for his mother on last Sunday. He was in a hospital. So about how, how long? Someone in that group? 
about noon last Sunday. Yeah, high noon while we were praying. Mm -hmm. She went home. All right. Yes, yes, yes. They were contemplating surgery. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Mm -hmm. The God we serve yeah, is yeah. able and yeah. is going to pay. She's praying, doing well. Bless the Lord. Bless She's doing well. Bless the Lord. When the church prays, yes. I, I, I'll be going to ask Peter. But when the church prays, God will move. God will move. So I want to give that phrase quick. She's home doing well. And they were contemplating surgery. But we talked to the great physician to get surgery without that. Are there any prayer requests? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And, I do be an and. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Bless name by name and one by one, God. 
meet the needs of your people, God. Oh, that move, God. You are Jehovah God. You provide, God. You the healer. You the deliverer, God. Move by your mighty hand for your people. In Jesus' mighty and awesome name, we pray. And God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you just bless. Mm. Hallelujah. Bless God. Those that are oppressed, depressed. I pray you will deliver and set free. Those who even contemplate suicide, God, touch their hearts, their minds. Change their hearts, their minds, God. In Jesus' name I pray. God, help them know that you love them. You will be with them and never forsake them. You will be with them to the end of the world or the end of the age. Bless them in a mighty and an abundant way. I pray, God, that you just bless as we are in a holy week, as we're winding down the Lenten season, that you will continue to strengthen us spiritually. And even when it's over, that we'll still be striving to be closer to you spiritually. Because it's a time of spiritual renewal. Continue to renew us daily, God. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray you bless Kathy, Kathy Self. Touch her with your mighty hand and your mighty power. You know what she's going through. You know she stands in need of oh God. Bless her in a mighty and an abundant way. Yeah. Bless her to Diane Morgan. Yeah. Touch her with your mighty hand of healing. Strengthen her and encourage her as well, God. Bless her grandsons, Darion and Antonio. Touch them, God. Touch their lives, God. Move mightily for them, God. In the name of Jesus. But I pray, God, you bless everyone who will ask for prayer. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus, for your glory. And we thank you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. This is our prayer. Now when I say I'm going to tell you what we leave, two things. He just thinks he will distribute the documents. She has a list with your name on it. And as she looks at your name on there, she will give you the sacraments that we can partake on next Saturday at 6 p.m. April the 3rd. So she will pass them out. As the names are on the list, she'll pass them out. The second thing, this is Holy Week. We're going to do some virtual preaching. And it won't be me, you there will be some virtual preaching starting tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Before I even say that, rest of rest of this month, the month of March, is Women's Month. It is Women's Month. So this whole Holy Week of Morning Women preaching virtually starting tomorrow night. And they don't, they don't know who they are. They don't know that. One of them don't probably know who they are. But if I don't know who they are, I'm going to tell them who they are. First night, uh, it will be an hour, and you better tell me how. Because uh, a little later in my heart, I asked for the Jalen, could he do it on uh, Wednesday evening, and he did it. Uh, the first night will be Brandis Beverly Ross. She will be preaching 7 p.m. 7 p.m. tomorrow night virtually. These are classics. Of uh, these verses preaching in the past. Nice. They they gonna preach and they ain't gotta worry about worry about <laughs> taking notes because they already know. <laughs> so tomorrow night will be Vendor's Vendor Ross. Tuesday night will be Minister Bernie Walker, who will be preaching virtually on Wednesday, on Tuesday night. Wednesday night we'll do Bible study. So I will teach Bible study. Thursday night. Will be Evangelist Ellen Morris will be preaching virtually on from the classic on Thursday night. All right. On Friday night, a classic will be Minister Bur I mean, Minister Mary Walker right. will be preaching Friday night on Good Friday. These women are women of God, and it's yeah. women's month, and they will be preaching virtually. So I encourage you to tune in night at 7 p.m. and hear our own priest in Holy Week. Amen. 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 Amen.
And you who want that yet? Don't worry about it. You won't get a virgin time too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't get a virgin time too. Uh, as God is, is leading me through these, these virtual things, uh, 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 and, and I thank God for Sister Lisa and uh, Brother Jalen, who's been doing this since the pandemic, come with ideas, and then I come with ideas, and I think, can you do this? He said, give me a little time, I, I, I can work it out. They've, they've done it. And when I asked him, where is he? So I can do this. Give me, give me a day. I said, they're good. And they're, they're going to do these things virtually. So I didn't that. God in my name. So I encourage you to tune in. Watch our own virtually preach Holy Week. I will be doing the, the Blessed Friday. Uh, it's actually, Friday will be a, a year when I started that. So I will be doing Blessed Friday. Uh, so uh, then that night, Miss America will be the seventh year. So thank God for technology. Amen. We got as technical as others, but we still get the job done. Right, yes, God's grace and mercy. God bless y'all. God keep y'all. May God bless you richly and abundantly. May God ever have his hands of blessing be upon you or people of God. Blessing to you all. Let us stand on this place. Most gracious and all wise Father, we thank you. We just adore you. We magnify you. We thank you for what you've done in this house this day. I pray you continue to bless your people. Continue to encourage your people. Continue to make ways, heal, deliver, set free your people. Move mighty. I pray in abundance. And abundance, God, and abundance of blessings be upon this your people. Yes. In Jesus' my name I pray. Now unto him that's able to keep you from falling yes. and present you faultless before the presence of the only wise God our Savior, be glory, mercy, and dominion and power, both now and forever. And all God's people say, Amen. Amen. The divine is going to lead you out.